Look, uh, he gets fed uh, early in the morning, just after four o'clock, all the horses get fed uh, a small amount. Uh, then he comes out here into the stalls. He gets the equisage machine put on him, just a nice massage, just to loosen him up a little bit. Temperatures taken and feet done, and then, uh, then the saddle will go on and he's ready to go. He's a naturally pretty fit athletic horse. He doesn't need too much, um, but so today will be his, basically his last final gallop. He's fit, he's ready, he's very well in himself. Uh, we've got him, I think we've got him exactly where we want him going into a derby. I thought he worked beautiful, yeah, he, um, he got up on the weekend by himself and you know, he'd be the laziest, most relaxed tracker you could get and he'd, he barely even hit three quarter pace, hence the reason we got up him in company this morning and yeah, I thought he worked home lovely, he ran home in 37 and a half and uh, never overdoes it, but it's pulled up well and we're very happy with it. In all his work he's always been relaxed and just wanting to get over further and sort of the further we've worked him over the more he likes it. So. You know, from a long way out, I, um, I did think he was a derby horse. His run was super, he had to get back a little bit from the draw, uh, hit the line very well. I just thought, you know, bring on the 2400. So there's a little bit of a hiccup leading into the guineas? Yeah, just when he was getting off the float, he, um, he sort of just wrong footed and sort of tried to leap off the float a bit. And, you know, he had rubber bell boots on to protect his feet, but uh, as you can imagine, sort of over 500 kilos a horse can go through it straight through a rubber boot and just uh, pulled his plate off and it drove into the side of his foot, two nails. Uh, luckily it was to the side, wasn't like through the frog or any of the vital areas. Um, and look, he has obviously a touch tender on it. Um, I guess it's just like us taking a shoe off and walking over stones. He, he looked like a bit of a cat on hot bricks, but um, you know, it was obviously a very vital race that he did race in it. and. Um, we tacked his plate back on, trotted him up, trotted up sound, so he was past. So look, I, I guess that was, um, we thought we had a derby horse, but that's how, th that's how fast things can turn. And it wasn't looking good for a while, but uh, we got there in the end. The next day, look, there was probably just a marginal little bit of bruise in there, uh, but that was on the Saturday. By the Monday, he was perfect, and uh, he hasn't missed a beat since. Obviously, uh, Derby, it's, uh, they don't give them away. We haven't had many runners in the Derby over the years, but um, I couldn't fault the where he is, and I don't think there's any stones unturned. We're getting a better quality of horse given to us now. You know, it's always hard to, to make a slow one go fast. Uh, but, you know, systems are all in place. You know, we've got a, as you've seen, we've got a, a great team of staff. You know, Reese is back there running the show. Uh, he's been with me for years, and um, you know, even Cliff that Gallop Vern and me this morning, he's been, he's been with us for about a decade. So, you know, we've got good, loyal, long-term staff and, and great systems, so, and, uh, and some really good owners that support us. Everything's just sort of gelling together, and I think it's going to get stronger. And look, it'll mean everything to, this, to the team, for sure. Derby's like, that's probably the most prestigious race.